morning again. Um, welcome to Colombo in Sri Lanka and to be accurate the Goldface Hotel. Many of you guys have been to Sri Lanka before. I'm sure many of you watching this have stopped through here before. But there might also be some of you watching who've never been to this hotel but have been thinking about staying in it. So I'm going to show you around and give you a bit of an overview of what the hotel has to offer. But it's a beautiful building. And the nice thing about the location is this hotel is located right on the ocean. Plus, let's also just for one second give props to the Sri Lankan flag, which has got to be one of my favourite flags out there. Look at the design. Awesome. And it's got a lion on it. Hotel itself is divided into a couple of wings. That's the north wing. Uh, there's four levels, three of which are accessible by elevator. The top one, there's an extra set of steps to go up. That's where Andrew's staying, up there on the top floor, somewhere in one of those. Where is it? My only problem with this place is that it actually has, I think, four restaurants, two bars, a pool, pretty much everything you need in order not to leave the hotel. And because we're only here for two nights and the second day is actually a bit of a shorter day because we've got to go back to the airport, the temptation is not to actually go out into Colombo and leave here. But I really want to show you guys around a bit of Colombo as well, so I'm going to force myself to get out of the hotel luxury and have a proper look around as well. So thank you in advance to you for keeping me honest and not letting me be just a lazy hotel snob. You've got a view as well. Huh? Yeah, this is the market bit, isn't it? This place is huge. Very easy for a tourist to get lost. Well, there's, there's no one else here actually, so it's just me. I'm not sure why I'm whispering, but it's the library. Where is the car? The library's nice, but we're on the hunt for Prince Philip's car. It's supposed to be inside the hotel, but it's near the library, it says. Maybe through here. Philip was stationed here in Sri Lanka or in Ceylon as it was then known back in 1940 during the Second World War. He lived here in Colombo and he actually purchased his first ever car whilst he was here in Sri Lanka. And the Goldface Hotel have actually got ownership of that car now and it's displayed here right in the hotel next to the library. He bought this car when he was stationed here back in 1940 at the princely sum of 12 sterling pounds. That cannonball, just there in the museum as well, that was actually, I was reading, in the 1840s from Golf Race Green, where they used to do military target practice, they were firing cannons from there, and one of them misfired and actually, instead of going out into the ocean, came into the hotel through a window and ended up under someone's chair. No one was injured, everyone was fine, but they've kept the cannonball here ever since, and it's now displayed in the museum. a 
quaint old British house. It's like being back in the UK again, it's great in here. Okay, it's late afternoon, uh, we've just been spending some time by the pool, which is really nice, it's a saltwater pool, great to splash around in, had some lunch from the pool bar, but now we wanna go off and get a quick drink down at the other bar downstairs, and then head out to Gold Face Green uh, that I was talking about before, where they're doing all the kite flying at night time, which should be really cool. See what I mean? Just like an old mansion. Look at these pictures too. Clean martini. Thank you. And drinks? Cheers. That place back there with all the checks and the seating outside where everyone was sitting down, it's called the Checkerboard and it's quite a well-known place here in the hotel to sit down and watch the sun going down. Now it's not the best sunset tonight, I've got to be honest, it's no Maldives sunset, but it's still pretty and you can probably hear those crashing waves behind me as well. It's a really nice place just to have a drink and chill out and watch the sun go down on another day before heading out over in this direction, over here behind me, which is the Gold Face Green, where hopefully we're going to go see some of the kite flying tonight as well. Man, look at all the tuk-tuks. We do horse rides too. So this is a famous golf face green just to my left or your right over there. It's like a two minute walk from the hotel as well and you've got everyone down here doing street food, flying their kites. There's a few restaurants down here as well and you get a cool view of the beach for the sunset as well. It's great. Cool. Okay, my tip is if you want to come down and have a look, try and get here after 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. You'll get the best sunsets and everything seems to be picking up at that time. Also, it's not quite as hot as well after 6 o'clock once the sun starts going down. Good fun, definitely worth doing.